Alright, for today's rider tip, we've got something nice and simple for our raw beginners out there, but also one for our already established riders that'll definitely up the cornering technique. Now our junior test rider for the day, Cameron Bell, he's on the latest Honda CRF70. This bike is amazing for keeping it nice and quiet. If you've got some neighbours around, you're doing this in your backyard, absolutely spot on. Now, as you can see behind me, a couple of tyres have been set up. Now you can use some tyres, you can use some witches hats, anything that you can use as a track marker will work absolutely perfect. You need to start off with getting the right length, so the gap between your two tyres or track markers. Now, I say anywhere between 10 to 15 metres is a perfect distance. Now, we're going to start off with an oval shape, which means you can only go in one direction. When we're just starting off with same direction turns, it's very important that the rider doesn't drift too wide coming out of the corners. If you do, what you end up with is basically one big circle all the way around. And that's not what we want. You need to make sure that we have two distinct turns. So when you exit each corner, there has to be a certain period of straight line riding. And that's how it's supposed to work. And that'll help improve your cornering so much. Let them have a few laps practice just to get the hang of it. And then there's nothing better than pulling out the stopwatch and getting on the clock you mark out a line exactly halfway between the two points and let them do a few laps on the clock. See what their lap times are and give them something to try to chase down. Now, if you're lucky enough to have a friend or a teammate come along that's on a similar bike size to you and a similar level, what you can do is line up next to each other, facing the opposite direction, and you take off at the same time. Now, what the goal here is to try to catch up to your teammate or your friend. The first person to catch up to the other rider wins the little competition. Now this is more of a game rather than a specific drill where we're trying to teach you flat corner body position or ruts or berms perhaps. But it's still important to remember, right here at the moment, what we can see with a couple of track markers, these are distinct flat turns. There's no berm, no ruts. So what you need to try to remember is when we don't have anything to force the wheels into that's gonna hold our bike and stop it from sliding out, we want to try to keep our body straight up and down and let that bike come off to the side a little bit. It's very important that you switch it back the other way and time and time again when I've been coaching little tackers around the country, I always find that everyone has a preference of turning one way or the other. So whatever your weakness is, if you're not as good going to the right, Make sure you work on your weakest link because you don't want to have one direction that your competitors or your buddies even for that matter know that that's your weak link, they'll definitely find it. Over the years this has been my job to race motorcycles around the world, around the countryside. I absolutely loved what I did. But being in a situation like this, seeing a couple of tyres set up, reminds me of being a kid and you know what? It's all about fun. So make sure you're smiling, give it a bit of a go and I'm sure you'll all enjoy yourselves.